In this video, we are going to learn how to convert from one unit to another and also how to find various scientific constants on the Casio FS, another one ES class, which is calculated in seconds for multiple choice questions. And after going through this video, you will be able to convert from one unit to another and also identify and bring out various scientific constants on the Casio FS, another one ES class, which is calculated. So guys, ensure you stick with me to the very end of this video. As usual, you are going to learn something very interesting. So having known that, let's go ahead and bring the Casio calculator and go into the details of this video. Okay, this is Casio FS, no one, ES plus risk calculator. Now the very first thing you have to do is to clear. Very important, the essence of doing it is to put your calculator in default mode or to reset it to remove whatever previous value you might have stored. On the calculator, whatever previous mode you might have placed the calculator on. So to, to do that, simply press shift button 9. For those of you that don't know how to do it, put the instruction option tray, then press record and press record again. So right now it's not in default mode, you have cleared it. Now having done this, now let's go ahead and look at how to convert from one unit to another. So to convert from one unit to another, press shift button first, then Look at this button 8. If you look at it closely, you see this word C O N V stand for conversion. So you press it. Now once you get it, the person wants to convert to the person wants to want to convert to. Now I'm going to emphasize on converting from kilometer per hour to meter per second and also to convert from meter per seconds to kilometer per hour. I'll also show you the others. But let's start with converting from Meter per hour to meter per seconds and the inverse aspect of it. Now, for that kind of conversion, make use of velocity. That's first one. Now, this is the various conversions for velocity. Now, let's say we want to convert from meter per hour to meter per seconds. First option one. Let me choose a random number. I want to convert this value 54 to meter per seconds. Just press equal to, and you see the answer fast in seconds in less than. Five in three seconds, in less than three seconds, the answer will display. So this is the answer. This is a this the 50 is a value of 54 km per hour in meter per seconds. Now let's say you want to convert meter per seconds to km per hour. All you have to do is to press this AC key, go back to this conversion velocity. Now this is my request to now let me choose a random number, let me choose 67. Per seconds to kilometer per hour, just press the to the answer with the ones. So, this is the value we want to convert this decimal number press SD. So, this is the value 241.2 kilometer per hour. So, that's the value in kilometer per hour if you convert to 70 meter per seconds to kilometer per hour. This is what you have. So, it's as simple as that, guys. Now, this is for the velocity aspect of it. Let me show you other options there. It depends on what you are dealing with. Now if you if, if you are dealing with conversions involving length, I have to press one and come here and choose the kind of conversion you want to do involving length. If it's if, if it is inch to centimeter or uh, from centimeter to inch, feet to meter, meter to feet, it depends on what you're working with, guys. Right? So as as that. So this is for length. What if you are dealing with area? Just press two and you see the first conversion from that area. Now let's go back. What you are dealing with volume. Press 3 and see the various conversions involving volume. It's as simple as that, guys. What if you are dealing with mass? Press 4. So, these, these are the various conversions involving what mass. It's as simple as that. Let's go down. We have depth with velocity. I've shown you that. That involves kilometer per hour, meter per second, meter per second, kilometer per hour. So, let's look at 2. Pressure. If you are dealing with pressure, conversion. If you press 2, these are various conversions involving what pressure. Okay, guys, very simple. Let's go back. What if you are dealing with energy? Press three. These are various conversions. You want energy? It's as simple as that, guys. Let's go back. What if you are dealing with power? Press four. These are various conversions. You want to power? And lastly, what if you are dealing with temperature? So come here and press one. Now, if you are dealing with, let's say, you want to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius, press one. If you want to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit, press two, respectively, and you need a Conversion very very fast in less than three seconds and the answer will display. So there are some that guys. Now this is for build conversion. 
I hope I explained it very well. And before I show you the constant aspect of it, if you're new to our channel, this is Eagles Class. If you're new to subscribe, make sure you hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to this channel. Also like and um, also like this video, guys. Give this video a thumbs up to hear the algorithm of this video. So having done that, guys, let's go ahead and look at constants. Now to bring out various constants on this calculator, all you have to do is to press shift. Okay. Now if you look at option seven, you see this word C O N S to stand for constant. So you press option seven. Now depend on the kind of constant you're working with. Let me say you are dealing with a little magnetism in physics. If you want to get a particular constant involving the magnetism, all you, all you still have to do is just press option two, automagnetic, and it will display this. So you choose the kind of constant you're looking for under the magnetism. So that's what the magnetism is. Oh, you, you, you are dealing with atomic and nuclear physics, just press straight. And you see the various constant involving atomic and nuclear physics and all that. So the, well, let's go back. What if you are dealing with Okay, this is for universal constant. Just press one. I see the various universal constants you want, depending on what you are looking for. And uh, let's look at phys physical, chemical, okay, topic. And dealing with just press four. I see the various constants under it. Now let's proceed. Put it downward button. Now, if the constant looking for you have checked from one to four, the constant is not within one to four. You can just come to this one, adopted values, press one, and you see the constant for adopted values. It's as simple as that, guys. Let's check order. What, what is there in the order? Just press to and check. Okay, this value. So, guys, this is basically how I do my unit conversions and bring us those scientific constants I want to make use of with the Casio FS one ES class with calculator in a matter of seconds and save time. So, I hope you learned something interesting. You got value from this video. Okay, so once more. If you're new to our channel and you're not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe button now to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Like, share, and comment on this video to tell me how you feel regarding what I've learned from this class. If you seem to have any specific question to ask, feel free to leave a question at the comment section below and I'll ensure to give you a response. That is for this class, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.